BBK gang, BBK gang in the building. What's going on, y'all? Hey, we got a nice live going for you guys tonight. Um, I know that you've been missing us and stuff like that, but trust and believe me when I say it's been a lot going on. Um, here in Texas. Give me one second. Get back. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, it's been a lot going on here in Texas. Um, the weather has not permitted us to do a lot, but you know, by the grace of God, we've been working with what we can and stuff like that. So, y'all, stay tuned on this live. Uh, as you already know, uh, I got to get everything going. And then we'll be ready to go. Again, as always, our info is down in the description box below of this video and every video. So make sure y'all, uh, if you're inquiring about a pub or whatever the case may be, make sure you check the description box below because our info is there and anything that you need uh to get in contact with us will be there so um i got a little surprise for you guys well it's not really a big surprise but um a little info on what's going on uh in this video so make sure you guys stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned make sure you hit that like button Share this video. You already know. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come join the BBK gang family. Um, right now on the subscribers for the raffle, we are at 9,076. As you guys know, once we hit 10k. Once we hit 10K subscribers on YouTube, somebody is going to be getting a pup. Somebody is going to be getting a pup. So make sure you guys continue, continue, continue to tell a friend to tell a friend to come join the BBK Game family. Um, for the people that has already purchase their tickets and stuff like that for the raffle hey good luck good luck good luck that's all i can say because whoever wins is gonna be whoever wins um so y'all continue to do that also what i will be doing in this video is showing the pup that we still have available she was a keeper that we were gonna keep in the program nothing is wrong with her it's just we decided that we're gonna bless someone um with this female so make sure you guys stay tuned because this female is still up for grabs she will be as of tomorrow 13 weeks she'll be 13 weeks as of tomorrow um also in the video we'll be showing boss um you'll get a, a few glimpses of uh diamond and uh beast and the other female um her uh the female that we have uh up for sale she is already sold so please don't inquire about her but the other one she is still up for grabs if you are interested 
and seriously interested in getting this female, please call and go ahead and get her. Um, we told y'all before in, in videos and in uh, the last live that she was still available. I don't know what it is. I, I guess because we haven't posted her to let you guys see how she looks and stuff like that. Um, but she still is available. She will be, she is a female, she's that, um, what we call that she male. So she's going to be, she, of course she's a female, but she's going to have that characteristics, that, that body structure of a male. So for people that is starting, uh, their kennels. And stuff like that. Or if you just want a nice female. Um, just as a pet. Or whatever the case may be. That'll be that female for you. Um, again she'll be 13 weeks. As of Saturday. I mean as of Sunday. I'm sorry. As of Sunday she'll be 13 weeks. So if you're interested. Please. 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 Serious inquiries only if you're wanting her. Now, if you wanted just to get on the list um, for a pup, by all means, please give us a call. But if you're interested in this particular female, please, serious inquiries only. Hey, and whoever, first come, first serve. That's, that's the best way to put it. First come, first serve. Um, whoever puts the, the, the deposit down to lock in that you want her, that'll be the person that gets her. So please, serious inquiries only. Y'all, I got 11 people watching me and I only got three likes. Those odds don't add up. Please hit that subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. I am going to show, uh, like I said, I'm going to show boss. You'll see Diamond, you'll see Beast, um, you'll see the other, uh, the, the sisters, the one that's available, and then you'll also see the other, the other sister. She is sold, so please don't ask about her. I'll, as video goes on, I'll let you guys know which one is which, but the other one, she is sold, so please don't ask about her. Like I said, these females are from the litter from Black Cherry and Mo 3. So, um, but yeah, you guys just stay tuned. Just um stay on this journey with us. Stay tuned to the live because you know, not only am I gonna show them any questions that you might have uh outside of um pricing and stuff like that i will answer i would not answer any pricing uh questions on the live but anything else pertaining to uh what we have upcoming and stuff like that i will answer Uh, what's going on, uh, DeMarcio, what's going on, Orlando, um, as you probably just heard, like I said, um, I, I'm just now seeing your comment, um, like I said, the female that we do have available, her parents are Black Cherry and Mo 3, that is the parents of the female female that we have available at the moment yeah charles uh, yeah. hey it's it's been like i said it's been a lot going on outside of um the dogs and outside of youtube um it's just been hectic and then on top of that we've been having rain since the last video 
uh, that we we uh, posted. So that's hindering us a little bit. Um, I'm not going to just, you know, hold that as a crutch. But if we've in Texas, we've been getting a lot, 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 a lot of rain. Um, so, um, you know, it, it makes it kind of hard to just get that right video that you want to post and want to want to make and stuff like that. Um, but outside of that, I will say, um. If you're on the list already uh, for Mo3, uh, Mo I will say, or if you're waiting, uh, wanting to get a pup, uh, just off the top, Chanel and Roxy have been bred. Chanel and Roxy have been bred. I know my husband made a video last week. It was a nighttime video. And it was more so of a motivational video. Um, but he was also telling you guys uh, who was coming in heat and, you know, what we were expecting in the future to come. So, if you're not on the list or, or if you're just wanting a pup, I will say we have two females that have been bred and and we have uh I know of one confirming that we have coming in heat. The other one should be coming in heat fairly soon. Um so stay tuned on that. I'm not going to say her name, but I'm not going to say either one's name. But I have two females that is coming in heat as of right now. So, if you're wanting a pup, uh, inquiring or whatever the case may be, you want to go ahead and put your deposit down right now. And it's for the future. That's fine. Give us a call because, hey. <laughs> We got some heat on the way, BBK. Y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to miss this. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, you don't want to miss this because we got some heat on the way. I got 19 people looking at me and only eight likes. Y'all, if you rock with the BBK game, hit that like button. Hit that like button. It don't take no time. Don't even take a, a split it, whatever, of a second. Hit that like button. Hey, keep telling a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come join the BBK Gang family. Because, like I said, we are at... Let me turn the camera around again. We are at 9,076. 9,076. Y'all know what that mean? Hey, we have not far from hitting 10K subscribers. Once we hit that 10K subscribers, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, somebody is going to be a winner of that pup. Also, we've been telling y'all along this journey, of course, we're giving one pup away, but there might be two. There might be two. So you never, 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 never know. Please keep calling and, and inquiring about the raffle. Um, again, I would say this about the raffle. If you're trying to get into the raffle, please call or text or DM or something before you send your payment. We only take cash out payments for the raffle. That's only for the raffle. Okay, you guys? 
So, if you're interested in buying tickets, please give us a call, text us, DM us, however it is, get in contact with us before you send your payment. Because if you just send your cash out payment for the raffle, I will not enter you into the raffle only because it's only fair for everyone else that has already purchased tickets and that's already, you know, in the making of uh, the drawing. I don't want to pick someone that I cannot contact. That's the main thing. If I cannot contact you in case you are the winner, I will not enter you into. And, you know, for people that have cash up, don't put your information in that um, it says for or whatever the whatever it is, something like that. Don't put your information in there. You can put for the the puppy bra uh, raffle. That's fine, but do not put your personal information in that. You have to get in contact. You have to either talk to my husband or myself. We are on Instagram at Big Boss Rock Wallet Kennels. No spaces, no nothing. All one word, Big Boss Rock Wallet Kennels. Big with two Gs. We are on TikTok at Big underscore Boss underscore Rock Waller. We, uh, I have my email uh, address uh, down there as well. You can hit me on email at Mrs. Barber. Red, the number one with two G's. I mean, with two D's. I'm sorry. Red with two D's at gmail.com. Or if you're on Facebook, you can follow my husband at A D Brown on Facebook. You can also message him and let him know, hey, I want to enter. And so the raffle, there's plenty of ways, you guys. There's no, there's no cutting corners. There's no none of that. Um, this is our first raffle. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit more. Uh, you have to do to to actually enter. But this will not be the last BBK game. This will not be the last raffle that Big Boss Rock Wall of Kindles has. Um, like I said, this is the first. And we have many more to come. So stay tuned. So if you don't um, get in this raffle, don't be alarmed. We'll have many more to come. All right. So... Um, yes, we are Orlando. Yes, yes, yes. That's right, Sergeant Jones. BBK gang, tell a friend to tell a friend. So, I and I'm not going to even mess up your name. I'm just going to answer your question. Um, so, as of right now, we still are in, uh, I guess you would say, it's like the city country, in a sense. Um, where we were previously, no, we are, we are no longer there um, for the reason of, we didn't want to jeopardize our, our own safety let alone the dogs because you know when we let them out to play or uh in the middle of cleaning or whatever the case may be we don't we didn't want any of the dogs or ourselves to accidentally walk upon uh, a snake and accidentally get bit so that was the main concern um the dogs are our first priority um, so we just didn't even want to, like I said, chance it or jeopardize the dogs getting bit 
by uh, a poisonous snake or even ourselves because it had gotten to the point to where even once we walked out the front door, especially at night, we were finding snakes. So we just didn't want to jeopardize it. So yeah, we're no longer at the previous place we were. What's going on, uh, Marmar, BBK Gang? BBK Gang, Ryder Rillis. Uh, y'all give me one second, one second, one second. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I had to go check on my hubby. Uh, as you guys probably don't know, uh, my husband has bronchitis. And, you know, this is part of the season that uh, is changing. So he's a little under the weather right now. He's uh, in the bed right now. He might um, um, drop in and make a, a a comment or whatever um but right now he's a little under the weather so i had to go check on him to make sure he's okay um i wish i did why not Momar? why not <laughs> adrian crawford um you know, I can honestly say yes, um, we are, but, you know, I'm just going to be real, real and blunt with y'all. It's so hard to find help that is loyal, that that's not going to backstab you or, or try to do something out of the ordinary. I, I guess I can put it. Um, I mean, we've been doing it just me and him for so long. It's, you know, it's become part of the norm. But at the end of the day, sometimes, you know, um, if we have to do something um, important to where it's, it's necessary that both of us are there, it kind of hinders it a little bit because for the simple fact, we just don't want to just leave the dogs for hours and hours by themselves on end. Regardless, you know, if we're here, you know, they do whatever. But um, I don't know. I guess the best way to put it is, 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 is it's hard. But yes, we do need help. Um, but like I said, it's just finding someone that we trust, let alone someone that the dogs trust, that they're comfortable of being around. Because like I said, we don't have many visitors and only outside of me and my husband can actually interact with them without um, any issues is my brother-in-law, uh, which is my my husband's brother. Um, but I, 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 I just, I don't know. But it, yeah, we do, as, at times, yes, we definitely do need the help. Our princess, what's going on? Sound boy, what's going on? What's going on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all tap in, tap in. Y'all see, looky low. Yes, let's get those likes up. Get those likes up. Get those likes up.
Um, Charles, so the plan is, um, what we plan on doing, of course, everybody knows, um, we are going to breed diamond, um, in the next coming up months, um, I will say, um, she has had her first heat. Of course, you guys know we did not breed her, of course. Um, we plan on breeding her to a nice male from actually where we purchased her from. Um, but like I've told several people that have probably called or inquired, and I think I've mentioned this on several lives or videos or whatnot, so when it comes to diamond because she is a borble again diamond is not a roddy she is a borble totally different breed she's a south african mastiff south african borble however you want to put it if you go on google and type in borble it's going to come up south african borble or south african mastiff it's the same thing um, so basically, with that being said, it's a little different when it comes to the breeding process with Diamond versus the Robbies. And the reason why I say that is because even though all of our Robbies are registered AKC, and including our Serbian imports, they have their Serbian... Uh, paperwork and their AKC paperwork um Diamond is not AKC registered she could have been but she's not AKC registered she's registered under what you would call if people you know watching know about the Borbos she's registered under what you call SABS S-A-B-B-S I don't know exactly what it stands for, but I just know it's the South African Mastiff. Um, I just can say Kennel Club. It's is like I say, it's just like AKC, but it's just for Borbles. Um, so she's registered under that. And with that being said, before you can breed your Borble. She has to, or he has to go through the the process of being what they call appraised um, through the SAPs. And they only come to certain parts of the U.S., I think, twice a year. So before she turned a year old, we had missed that one. Because, of course, we had our own puppies on the ground. So, now, they have, they're they coming back around, uh, actually, in October. Um, so, this go-around, we'll be able to take Diamond to get her appraised. And what I mean by appraised is that, basically, the committee that, that, that SAPS has... They rate the dog and score the dog on so many categories. I don't know all the categories, so please don't ask me because I don't know this is our first go around. Um, but I just know it's kind of like when you're in school, if you get like a 70, that's considered like a C. But anything above a 70 is either a, a, a B minus, B plus, A plus, a minus type stuff so i think the lowest score that they can get that will still um basically allow them to be she's registered but, but that'll be recognized i guess you can put it um is no lower no lower than a 70 uh percent so that's just overall and by her being uh all black you know for the people that don't know a all black borble is is rare and they consider that rare so the only 
only one that will um, take them and recognize them in in her breed for the the kennel clubs or whatever is Sabs. It's another kennel club. I don't know the name, and I know, like I said, I know AKC will. You can register them through AKC, but like I said, it's it's totally different when it comes to diamond. It's totally different. But um, as long as she scores seventy and above, once we breed her. It'll be recognized, basically. So anything under a 70, we can't breed her. I mean, you can, but you can't because it, you won't be able to register your pup because they, in, like I said, in that kennel club, they won't recognize it. So um, once she scores 70 or above, She'll be able to breed, and once we breed her, we can, you know, continue the the process, basically. So it's a little bit different. Um, so that's the only thing. But um, she will be bred. Um, I know we are going to. I know for a fact we're going to keep one of her sons. We probably will keep a female. I don't know, but I know we're going to keep two. I don't know uh, which one is which, uh, what we'll keep, but I know we'll keep two. But so y'all just stay tuned on that for people that's wanting something from Diamond. I see you, Kyra, Mr. Kyra, uh, Mrs. Uh, Kelsey. I see you. I see you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I will relay the message to Bay um, and, and, and let him know what's going on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Marmar, we got you. We got you. We got you, Marmar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Javon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I knew it, but I didn't, you know, you know, just like AKC, I, I just don't know it off the top of the brain. Um, But thank you. Thank you. Thank you for clearing that up. Yeah, it's very different. It's very different. Yep, you absolutely right. You absolutely right. So, um, Javon, so we're trying to accommodate that uh, some kind of way um, because we can't miss this one because if we miss this one, it'll be however many months until they come back. So, um, they'll be right outside of I, you might as well just say Houston, but it's it's not actually Houston, Texas, but it's it's Houston is totally I'm gonna say Houston is totally different from Dallas. Um, but it's in Houston. Um, so that's this is the best time before puppies arrive and all that other stuff. This will be the best time to get her in. Yeah. So most definitely, yeah, it's 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 totally different. Um, it's not just a click of a button or whatever, you know, like with the rots. But I mean, it's worth it. I, I wouldn't trade Diamond for the world. That that's my girl. You know, all of them are my boys or my girls. But you know. Diamond is on the aspect of of Debo and Sorak. She's she's spoiled. She's totally spoiled. <laughs> you um right here. Oh, that is actually. 
that is actually my husband's great cousin. Um, he called him his uncle. Um, he lived with us from basically really from when we first got Debo and Ciroc, um, up until they were almost a year old. Um, and, you know, he passed away. Um, but, yeah, that's 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 who that is. He called him, it, like I said, he was his great cousin, but he called him his uncle. Um, so that's who that is. Um, we, uh, <laughs> the best way to put it, from somebody from Dallas that has been to Houston, it's four, officially four hours, but you can get there in about three. Three, three and a half, depending on how you drive. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He passed away in, uh... 2019 so it's going on uh what it just matter of fact it just made three years in july so yeah yeah i mean it it was his it was his grandmother's cousin. So, of course, that makes it his great cousin. But anyway, um, get off of that subject. I don't want to get all teary-eyed because, like I said, he stayed with us. We take we took care of him. Um, basically, he was... He was in the house when he when God called him home. Um so yeah, it was it was a pretty dramatic um time for us. Um, like I said, Debo and Sorak were still uh young, but yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna get into that gang. I'm not gonna get into that. But anyway, um, so yeah. So as y'all see, got boss boss. Boss boss! He's walking around. Doing what he do. Yeah. Y'all see the cleaning products. Stuff like that. He over there. Um, let me see if I can, um. Okay. So, this female, hold on, wait, make sure I got the right one. Got this female right here. That is the Black Cherry Mo 3 female, Diamond Diamond. Right there, of course. Got Beast right here. Okay, so the female I just showed you guys, which is over there. Um,. Over here to her. Come here. This female, you guys, is available. She is available. Um, if you if you're looking for a female, serious, like I said, serious inquiries only. She is available. Move, diamond. Move, beast. She is available. Her sister is not available. She is already sold. Um, we're just, you know, waiting on the, the weather to, to permit for us to, uh, we're going to actually transport her, uh, personally. So she is not for sale. The female that is for sale is right here. She, I think it's the light that's scaring her, but she is for sale. Like I said, this is the black cherry Mo three daughter. Um, Black Cherry is right here. She didn't want to get out the black. She didn't want to come out the cage. Um, it was raining earlier, and like I said, this is, um, 
you know, they're set up for when it rains outside of the big kennels out there. Um, the rest of them are out there. Um, but yet, hey, stop out it. Quit out it. So, I don't know. They love them some, some diamond and, and all that. So, yeah, you guys, the female right here. Move, beast, beast. The female right here is available. Please call if you're interested. The female inside of the cage laying down is not for sale. She's already sold. Um, so if you're interested, please give us a call. Um, she was a keeper. We, we had decided on keeping her, but, um, you know, we just decided to go ahead and sell her. Um, so, and she's, you know, if you're looking for that face of that kennel, that she male or whatever the case may be, she's going to be that female. So give us a call. That's her right there. She'll be 13 weeks on Sunday. She'll be 13 weeks on Sunday. That's her right there. Right there. Right there. I got you, uh, one more. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, Javon, you know, we, we do what we can when we can. I mean, it's not really a big deal. Um, because like I say, it's just me and him. We don't have any kid, like actual human kids. Uh, our dogs are our kids, so that's really our main priority right now. I mean, because like I say, we don't have anyone that we can really trust to take care of the dogs like we take care of our dogs Um, is the main thing. So, you know, it, it's hard to find good help and loyal help out here nowadays. Yep, yep, yep. That's not Dino. That's Boss. Yeah, she good. She, she, no, she's fine. She just, you know, they all get in that moment to where, um, because as you all know, all the dogs were in the house at, at a point in time, um, so when they see these cages and get in these cages, it's like, okay, I'm going in the house. But no, she's fine. She she's absolutely fine in the wrong order. Um, so we really don't give them any supplements. Um you know, every now and then we might get them, uh, like, some just vitamins, stuff for their joints, especially the boys, just stuff for their joints because, you know, in the midst of breeding and stuff like that. Um, but we don't really give them anything. It's mainly just, um, you know, the food that we feed them. We feed them uh, Victor. In the purple bag, as you guys know, and I also mix the uh, leg quarters with their food. I bake their leg quarters every day, um, regardless of what we have going on, birthday, holiday, whatever. Um, I mix those leg quarters in with their food. Um, and just really just exercise, just let them be be them um we don't hinder them on on their nature um just being a dog basically we give them exercise um um we haven't 
walk them physically in a while um but we're going to actually start back actually walking them um probably two at a time probably in the next couple of weeks we're going to start seeing how it's getting uh it's coming out of the actual summer months and getting cooler so we're going to probably start back just walking them you know just giving them a little bit more uh endurance and more uh more stamina stuff like that uh and then outside of getting uh the puppies that we do the keepers that we have getting used to walking on the leash and stuff like that so all of that will be coming up soon but we haven't as of yet because like i said it's not raining now but it was earlier and i know you guys uh heard and saw in the last video in the last live we had stop dummy in the last live we had that we actually got flooded inside of the house um last week um and the rain hasn't lit up like i said it's been raining it's, it rained today yesterday and the day before that um so we've been getting a lot a lot of rain um so yeah but we got a lot of things coming So, um, right now, Debo weighs probably about, um, I think the last time we, uh, weighed him, he was about 170. So, he's about 170 at the moment, um, with the summer and stuff like that. So, yeah. He's a big boy, naturally. Naturally. But yeah, you guys, this female, like I said, is up for grabs. She is up for grabs. If you're interested, give us a call, DM us, uh, whatever the case may be, text us. It don't matter. She is up for grabs. Like I said, she is the daughter of Mo3 and Black Cherry. She is the daughter and we also have litters coming up between Mo3 and Roxy and Chanel. So, you guys, if you're interested in the pup, if you're already on the list waiting, hey, you already know what's coming. Um, like I said, even if you don't, uh, if you're not able to get uh, one per se off of this litter, we have plenty more breedings coming up um chanel not chanel Ciroc is actually coming in in heat um roxy will probably be not too far behind her we will be going to debo with with them so if you're interested in the pup please give us a call those are our upcoming breedings and litters that we have as of right now coming up so, like I said, if you're interested, give us a call. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, Ch Chanel and Roxy look just like Ciroc and Debo, um, as well as, uh, they don't have names. I call them my little stinkies, just like every all of them. <laughs> but the the babies, um, that as y'all can see, is in there with diamond. I don't know. They just love them some diamond and balls and beasts. But they're in there with diamond. Um, they look just like black. Um, they're gorgeous, 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 gorgeous females. Um, they're very active. Their temperament is is through the roof is is very calm cool collective um i will say they they don't take no stuff <laughs> because boss they they fight with him all the time not i'm not necessarily fight but you know how puppies play um 
and they don't take no stuff. Um, as y'all can see, Diamond, she she takes. She's not like how she used to be when she was very young, and you know she's very gentle with the babies, and she knows the difference now that she's getting older. Um, so yeah, but all of our dogs have wonderful, wonderful temperaments. Um, they're cool, calm, collective. Um, at the same time, you know, a dog is going to be a dog. And when it's time to switch on to their, you know, instincts, then that's what they do. But on a general basis, they're cool, calm, collective, as you can see. And as you can hear, none of them are barking. None of them are fighting, stuff like that. So... Yeah, they're they're very good on temperament. So even if you're looking for a uh, a dog to start your kennel or um, just be a overall just family pet and you just wanting a great uh, Roddy, then these are the dogs for you. Appreciate that, uh, Black Crow. I, I, I see you. I see you. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, you guys. Oh, it was just it, uh, someone had asked um, who the obituary that was on their refrigerator. Um, it was it was my uh, husband's. It was his great cousin, but it, he called him his uncle. He had passed away. Boss, no. Hey, little boy. Y'all. Hey, no. No. Do not bite on that, sir. Do not bite on that. Sorry, y'all. Um, no. So, if we walk any of the dogs, we don't walk, um, puppies. And that's just because, if you guys don't know, um, Roddy's immune system is very sensitive by nature. So, and that's just... To be precautious, you know, you don't want any puppy that, that might be going or getting ready to go to their new owners to uh contract uh uh to <laughs> to get parvo basically. You don't want them to get that. Um that's a big thing. You don't want them to get that um or any other immune issue that that might be going on um outside of your own yard um so no we don't walk puppies that 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 are going to new uh owners um even with puppies that um we might even keep we don't walk them until they're at least six months or older um, and like I said, that's just a precaution because, you know, anything can happen. Any other dog or cat or any wild animal could have been in the proximity of where you're walking the dog. And anything can happen. So you just don't want to jeopardize it. And that's one thing that we tell um, everyone that, that purchases a dog from us, you know, don't take them, especially, 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 especially you guys, don't take your dog to any dog park. Um, and nowadays you really can't even walk them, you know, down the street, whether it's to the stop sign or whatnot. Um, you just don't want to jeopardize it because you don't know what's been there before, um, the dog has been there. 
And like I say, um, Roddy's immune system are very, very sensitive. Um, to be honest, even when we first got stop boss, I'm sorry, you guys. Even when we got um, Debo, and when we first got Debo and Ciroc, we didn't. When we took them out to use the restroom, we actually picked them up um, and put them in a specific area that we wanted them to use the restroom in until they got to a certain age. Um, and like I said, it's just to be precautious. I mean, you pay all this money for these dogs and, and stuff like that, and you know, you just don't want anything to happen to them um, before they can even get of age. So, you know, y'all, the best thing to do, like I said, like we tell everyone that gets a, a, a pup from us, even before you get your dog, treat your yard. Um, if you stay in the apartment, I understand you, you can only do so much. And, and kudos to... If you do stay in an apartment or a townhome or whatever the case may be. Um, but if you don't have your own personal yard, especially for people that stay in apartments, um, don't even, you know, just be precautious. Because, like I said, you don't know what animal has been in the proximity of where you're even taking your pup to even use the restroom or whatever the case may be before you've got there but if you have your own home or you're renting or a town home or whatever and you have your own little yard regardless of how big it is um you want to make sure that the first thing is you bleach your yard because bleach of course is it kills a lot a lot of germs that of course you cannot see with the naked eye so you want to make sure you sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. That is the first thing. The second thing is, um, like we've uh, mentioned in other videos, uh, the stuff that treats your yard for like uh, insects, uh, ants, uh, ticks, any kind of bug that can hinder or harm your dog. You want to treat that area and, and make sure it's treated good enough before you even receive your pup so that's the main things even in the house you want to make sure um you bleach the area make sure it's sanitized um because just like dogs what people don't understand they can get sick just like us and they can get a lot of different sicknesses uh just like us human beings they can catch a common cold. They can catch, uh, especially the coronavirus. They can catch parvo. They can catch anything that we can catch, they can catch. So to eliminate um, some of that, make sure your the area, wherever your dog is going to be, you keep it sanitized, even before you get your dog. Don't just try to keep it sanitized once you get it um you want to already have that that um flow going so you know once like i said once you get your dog you'll be already in that flow to to do it every day because as you guys know we've done numerous of cleaning videos y'all know everything that we showed y'all um that we do we do that on a daily basis so every day, regardless of the rain, regardless of the heat, cold, whatever the case may be, every day we clean up the uh, their area, clean up the poop, sanitize it with bleach, all of that every day. And every so uh, couple months, like I said, of course, you can get that the uh, product for the insects and the bugs and the fleas and stuff like that from Home Depot. They sell it at Home Depot. Um, you just hook it up to your water hose and you cut it on and you treat the yard basically. Um, so every couple of months or every month you want to do that.
and that just minimizes and help you um keep your dog safe or keep your pet safe whatever it is that you might have it does help trust me it does help Yeah, she is. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, Diamond Diamond is still what you would consider. She's still in her puppy stage, even though she is a year old. Um, she's still in her puppy stage, so she's just a big puppy. Um and just like Roddy's, you know, a lot of people don't know. Um, they expect, you know, Roddy's to be at their full potential overnight. No, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, Roddy's just as well as uh, the Borbles, they don't stop growing until they're about two and a half years old, almost three. So she still has a lot of growing to do. And yes, she has calmed down tremendously um from previous litters that we've had um but of course she still she still can get in her her rowdy her rowdy stage but it's nothing that we can't handle now it, and you know she knows a little bit more now that she's a little bit older um she's she's learning the ropes uh furthermore is um, when puppies come and stuff like that, she knows how to handle them. But, you know, um, Dom is just being dominant. So, yeah. Charles Knight, yes, you can. Um, if you give us a call and, and everything like that or send us a text message or DM or stuff like that, we will let you know uh, pricing on that, stuff like that. Um, it, and, again, if you have a particular uh, stud or whatever that you want to do, then, you know, we can go from there. So, what we do, Tamara... Um, what we do is it's a combination of bleach, uh, soap, which we use Dawn. We use Dawn soap, um, a little bit of pine saw or fabuloso, depending on uh, whichever one is available at the time. And we mix that all together. And so what we do is um, either we put it in the bottle that we used to treat the yard for the insects. Once that's empty, we either mix it all in there or we get um, one of the empty uh, soap bottles and mix that all together in there. And what we do is basically we'll wet the area and... Like I said uh, in another video, and as you guys have probably seen in the other videos that we posted, we've upgraded the kennels and the setup and everything. So it's wood and everything. So either we'll use, like I said, we'll put it in that spray bottle or we'll use the um, soap bot the empty soap bottle. And put that all over, wet it, and we use the put. It's like it's basically a push brush, and we use that push brush to clean, actually clean, um, the area, and then we rinse it off with the water. So the dogs are never really coming in contact with um, anything that we use to sanitize, um, because once we let them out of their kennels they're you know running around playing or whatever the case may be while we're clean and then once they go back in 
the area is sanitized and it's it, it has been rinsed off. So they never, like I said, never come in contact with it. What's going on, Luzu? Uh, Zulu? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it won't. It won't explode. No, it won't explode. Um, only thing that I can say that it does, um, because the bleach and stuff like that, it does heat up a little bit to the touch, but it does not explode. And it, like I said, it's not going to um affect you or the dogs because by the time like i said by the time the dogs get back into that area it's rinsed off and it's already gone like i said it's solely for cleaning solely for sanitizing and once we clean the area we rinse it off with natural water regular water um, they go back in there and they're absolutely fine. Yes, we did. I, I know you tuned in late. Um, but yes, we did. We bred Chanel and Roxy, um, to Mo3. Yes, we did. Y'all, they are really all piled up in this cage. They really in there piled up. We got Beast and Diamond. Beast, Beast. Got Boss right here. Boss, Boss. Boss right there. Beast right there. Diamond right here. Look at these characters right here. Again, this female... The lighter female is not available. This female right here is still up for grabs, you guys. So, if you're interested, please give us a call. Serious inquiries only. Please give us a call. She still is up for grabs. She was a keeper. We just decided nothing is wrong. As you can see, we just decided we're going to go ahead and sell her. Um... So, Tamara, um, once you breed, you know, or if you don't know, um, so they stay pregnant typically 65 days. So, with that being said, that's like two and a half months. So, with that being said, if you take them to the vet, you cannot take them to the vet to actually get a x-ray or ultrasound whichever you prefer um until it's at least 30 days prior to the day that they actually bred so it has to be 30 days after they've bred before you can even take them to even get any kind of knowledge or anything like that but seeing how we know, you know, our dogs and we know how they look and we know different signs to look for. Um, it's a lot easier. But um, for people that don't know, 30 days after your dog um, actually bred, you can either count from the first day that they actually bred or however many times they bred from either the first or the last time. And you just count 30 days after that. And then you can take them to to the vet to get an ultrasound or an x-ray. And then once that 30 days have hit, then of course you have um, another 30 days plus a couple days. Um, depending on the dog, some dogs actually go their full 65. Some, day, some dogs um, might... Uh, going to labor uh, on that 60th day. Um, it just really depends on the dog. So, you know, like I said, each dog is different. So once you know your dog, then you kind of can guess. And then, you know, if you've had multiple...
females that have gone into labor and stuff like that, you can you you kind of pick up on the signs that they give um, when they're actually going into labor. So I mean, it, it's like I said, each dog is different. Yes, she is. All right, Momar. But yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up as well. Um, it's getting about that time for me to get ready to feed these guys for the night. Um, I thank you everyone that had joined in and 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 you know watched this live and stuff like that. I hope that you um took something from it. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, we thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for all the support and the love over here at Big Boss Rock Roller Kennels. Um, make sure you keep hitting that subscribe button. Keep telling a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Uh, keep getting your raffle tickets because we're right there, you guys. We're right there. So make sure y'all keep getting your tickets. If you've already purchased tickets and you want to get some more just to, you know, uh get your your however you want to call it up hey keep getting your tickets mm -hmm. and again as always thank you guys for all the love make sure you follow us on all social medias big boss rock roller kennels on instagram big underscore boss underscore rock wallers on tiktok um you can follow my husband on facebook at a d brown on facebook he posts pretty much every day on his story so go check that out different little things he might repost different things so y'all check that out you can email us um for any questions about uh anything at mrs barber red with two d's the number one at gmail.com um hey give us a call our numbers both of our numbers are down in the description box of this video so make sure you go check that out a any pricing anything like that please give us a call or text dm whatever don't ask that in the in the comments because i will not respond i i won't give you a direct answer i will tell you the same thing give us a call so if you're inquiring, if you want to get this pup, again, she is available. She's sleeping right now, but she is available. That female right there looking at us right now, she is available. She'll be 13 weeks on Sunday. She is available. She was a keeper. We just decided to go ahead and, and, and um, sell her. So if you're interested and getting a pup, she will be a face of a kennel. So if you're looking for that face of a kennel for that female, she will be that she-male, as we call them over here. Y'all, give us a call. Again, we love y'all. Thank y'all for joining in. Hope y'all have a safe weekend and holiday on Monday. Happy Labor Day to everyone. Y'all, see y'all again soon. Peace.